Okay, so last words. Um, and I know, Sandra, you're asking about uh, Sammy and her 5-1. Maybe I have it in my mind because I know, Sammy, you talked a bit about both the 5 and the 1 last on the last panel, on the line 1 panel. Um, are there things that you want to share with regards to your 5-1 specifically for other 5-1s out there? Um, is there a specific question any of you three have about 5-1s? I might help a little. Okay. I just wanted to ask that first because I, um, I just, I think I really summed it up well, as far as just trusting who you are and trusting that things are going to be okay. I, I, I think that honestly, if you are a five, one, you can definitely probably benefit if you're too afraid to do a reading to go to genetic matrix and just do like an audio one and sit with it for a while. I know a few five ones that did that before getting a reading because privacy is so important to us. Um, and just having at least one person that you can go to and just vent to, um, because sometimes it is just going to be like, you know, you might have a good, like, I can use this little example of like, go on a good date or something, you know, it's, oh, it's great or whatever. And then you realize that they have no idea who you are. And all of a sudden they have all these expectations on you and you feel like you're obligated to do them and you have to pretend to be someone you're not. And that is the last thing, like the last place you want to be. And so for me, just holding my principles of who I am, what I will, like my, my, my core principles, like in my root, like I'm connected to my emotional or my solar plexus. So like everything has to do with like my boundaries, setting up boundaries and knowing that like I need a lot of alone time and spending time by yourself. And it might be really weird or awkward at first, but eventually finding some sort of thing that just, whether it's reading a book, whether it's meditation or listening to music, you know, before you go to bed or something and just being alone can really help you start to feel comfortable in your own space. At least from readings I've done and from my own experience, that's the thing I, I think people have struggled with the most is just being blocked because they're, uh, they're just, they don't, they can't figure out what's them and what is, what is being projected on them. But just know that I'm sending all of you guys love your five ones. <laughs> thanks so much for sharing that, Sammy. And thank you for being on the panel. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Christy, do you have any final words? Um, no, not really. Just it's okay. Want me to get back to you? Yeah, I mean, basically, um, it's okay to be who you are. Mm you need to be who you are. And when you, like I emotionally defined, so my, what I say, especially when it's, I feel very strongly about it emotionally. Um, there's a reason why you're saying it. There's a reason why it changes. It has impact changes lives. So um, really trusting self and knowing self is huge. Being able to get in your body is huge working according to your strategy and authority will you're going to keep coming back to that that's your baseline of everything um it's never a mistake everything you do is so that someone else can come behind you and go oh my gosh totally get that so yeah and yeah i love the the five one energy it helps me to kind of put things into perspective for the kids so and now I have a way to articulate that a little better, I think, for them. So, yeah. You do you. It's okay. It'll work out. Awesome, Christy. Thanks. And thanks so much for being on the panel. No, thank you. Yeah. And Sandra. The one last thing I have to say is whatever it is about who you are, if there's something you don't like, you don't understand, you wish you weren't that way. And you don't do human design, if you don't do human design yourself, have somebody interpret your chart. Because those things that don't make sense, or you don't like, or you judge, or whatever, why does this always happen to me? It's in the chart. And so those things, when you understand it's part of the design, it enables you to stop judging yourself and learn how to manage it. Because there's practical strategies for taking each of those weird things and helping you be able to be okay with it, become peaceful with it, and then move on instead of continuing to be upset with yourself. 
Well said. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra.